intrigue, tales of breathless suspense, and heart-pounding adventure. Tonight's episode, Whatever It Takes. And that's how he did it. He walks right up to the guard and starts speaking in French. I didn't exactly know what to do, so I just played along and stuck a camera in his face. We walked right on through. <laughs> you give me too much credit. French has always come easy to me. And German and Russian. Heck, you'd probably snap up Hindi if you cared anything for curry. <laughs> oh, I've not been to France in years. I want Peter to take me in the spring. Ah, uh, now, darling, I don't know. But I'll see what I can work out. It would be nice to get out of Germany for a change. So, Mr. Franz, what do you think of Berlin now? Peter tells me it's your first visit since the war. I've only been here for three days. What can I say? Better than most cities, if a bit cold, but at least there isn't a war going on this time. Well, I found it rather pleasant here. <laughs> Peter, stop. Well, I hate to say it, but I'd better leave you two lovebirds for the night. Uh, say, Franz, are we still on for our meeting tomorrow morning? I haven't forgotten. Oh, Mr. Franz, won't you stay a little longer? I'm sorry, but it's late and I have some calls to make. But it was very good to meet you, Miss... Sylvia? That's right. Sylvia Chekhov. Good night, then. Uh, Sylvia, would you talk to the bartender while I walk Franz out? Certainly, darling. Have you found it yet? No, but I'm close. I'm expecting a very important delivery. It should be waiting for me in my room right now. Does she suspect anything? I don't think so. If I knew what it was, I might be able to help you. I might know something. You know procedure, even between friends. All right. But if worse comes to worst, forget procedure. In this game, you have to do whatever it takes. I know that. Just be careful. Good night. Good night. Peter? Did you miss me, darling? Oh, Peter. Mr. Franz seems very nice. Well, he's a very nice man, and he was right. It's late, and we ought to be leaving. Oh, we just got started. I know. I'll just quit the daily, and then we can stay up at clubs every night. <laughs> well, what's so important that you have to be taking pictures of it instead of spending time with me? Now, Angel, you know I can't talk about my work. It's uh, unbiased journalism. I think you just know I like mysterious men. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm not too mysterious. <laughs> Peter, stop it. <laughs> Well, good night, dear. I'll see you in the morning. Come on, darling. How about one more drink? Ah, uh, now, Angel, I have to meet Franz in the morning. Oh, you'll have all day to play with your friends. Just one more drink. We'll make the night last forever. Ah, <laughs> uh, darling, I'd spend a thousand nights and days with you, but I'm afraid tomorrow morning is for Franz. Where is that key? Well, at least one more kiss. I suppose I could be persuaded. <coughs> Sylvia, what? That's right. It's loaded, so don't try anything. Now give me your gun. Sylvia! Do it. That's it. Unlock your room and open the door. All right. Now go inside. Sit down on that chair. Very charming. You have the sweet young Berlin girl to a T, but I don't think the gun suits you. Some things are more important than casual flings, Mr. Sawyer. When the first form of persuasion proves ineffective, one must use different methods. What do you want? You know what I'm after. Now give it to me, or we can do this the hard way. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. It won't work. Dr. Kurtz is dead. He died this morning, which means we no longer have time to waste on games. You give it to us, you get safe passage out of East Berlin, and we do the Americans the courtesy of giving back one of their spies. And if I refuse... I must say, we would prefer you alive, but it would not be much more difficult to kill you and search the room myself. I'm afraid it will be too late. In 30 seconds, the Americans will have this building surrounded, whether I'm alive or not. Yes, I know about the distress beacon you just activated with your watch, but I'm afraid Franz won't care. What do you mean? It means, Peter, that we're ready to begin negotiations. Franz! Well, Sylvia doesn't surprise me, but I never thought my best friend would stab me in the back. No, no, Peter, it's nothing personal. Tell me, how long did it take you to start working for the Reds? What did they offer you, money? Don't be naive, old friend. These are changing times. What was really waiting for me with the Americans? Just look how it turned out for you. Weren't you just telling me that in this game you have to do whatever it takes? 
Where would I be if I let myself get tangled up in old loyalties and friendships? No traitor is a friend of mine. Oh, come now, Mr. Sawyer. If it weren't for him, I probably would have killed you. I don't care for drawn-out interrogations. Why not have a drink? Let's celebrate. We can get the intelligence, and you get to keep your life. Ah, I'm impressed, Peter. This is some of the finest in Berlin. You've been here for too long. I don't doubt that. <coughs> That's enough. <coughs> what makes you so sure I have it? Do you think I was born yesterday? The final piece of Dr. Kirst's research was smuggled from his lab just before he died. We know it hasn't left Berlin, and we've eliminated all other possible agents. And I know you wouldn't let something important far from your sight, eh, old friend? <coughs> so, where is it? <coughs> Maybe it's right in front of your face. <coughs> Blast! Out the window! You all right? He threw vodka in my eyes. It burns a little bit, but I'll be all right. I missed him. My men are waiting outside, but it's no matter. We don't need him anymore. Are you sure you're all right? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Start searching. It must be here somewhere. He left a letter on the desk. Let me see it. <gasps> what is it, mine? What is it? He still has it. Go after him. I'll search here and try to find out where he is going. Rendezvous at Hegel Square. First you tell me what we're looking for. Fool! He has the last piece of Dr. Kurtz's project with him right now. Kurtz? Wait, you don't mean... That's right. The glass jaguar. <laughs> That was too close. Have to get to safety. My ankle must have sprained it in the fall. What's this? Oh, I'm still holding the vodka bottle and still half full. <laughs> I'll probably need a stiff drink. Uh, Franz, how could I have known? Who else? The bartender? That dame at the back table? Uh, for all I know, the newspaper boy could have been a spook. I've got to get out of East Berlin. Darn, this ankle! And they're probably right behind me. I'm gonna have to try to make it. <sighs> Streets are empty. Wait. Wait, who are those two? Oh, they're following me. Ankler, no, I'm gonna have to run for it. <clears throat> There's an alley. If I could get behind this dumpster. <clears throat> Darn it, here they come. Trapped. They don't see me. I just might have a chance if I can surprise them. Wait for it. There's a cafe. Move it! Out of the way! Oh, there's a back door. Lost him. Not quite yet, Peter. Franz? <laughs>